Welcome to the Morning, Noon, and Night Show. I'm Robin Moreno. Well, more than likely, you have been set up on a blind date, but hopefully it wasn't by your mother. Unfortunately for these 26 women in this book by author Alex Strauss, Have I Got a Guy for You, they are set up by mom um, and to not such a great avail always, right? Oh, my right? God, they were all awful. <laughs> they were just awful. Okay. They were awful, except for one. One actually got married. So one out of 26, that's not so not bad. Not so bad. Not so good, but not so bad. So, Alex, how did you come up with this idea? I'm imagining it was a lot of drinks, a lot of girlfriends talking about sharing, swapping really bad stories about mom. A lot mom. of suicidal thoughts, yes. <laughs> um, we were... I deal, really, what happened was my, the, la, the straw that broke the camel's back was my mother fixed me up with someone who was married. <laughs> and, you know, that really was problematic, at least for me. Not so much for him, I guess, uh, or his wife. But uh, I was sharing this with some of my girlfriends, and, and I realized that they, too, had been fixed up by their mothers. And I was actually really surprised when we started pitching this around that there wasn't a book out there already because it seemed so just, you know, this was a no-brainer. Sadly, the mothers, on the other hand, too, I guess they're just not, they're not asking the right questions is really what we found. And that, that their man is not our man. Okay, so that's the takeaway. Um, so these 26 women, they're actually writers. So that makes it not only um, good tales, but sort of well-written. Yeah, the stories, <laughs> the stories really are exceptional. Um, they're really very funny. We have some, some endearing moments. There, there was one writer who went out with somebody and he just kept spitting all his salad dressing into a cup. <laughs> which we just, you know, at that point, that's your honeymoon period. You know, you want to put your best foot forward. Um, so that didn't end. Or your point. salad dressing on the side. Right, or on the side. You don't ask for salad dressing. Uh, we had one man who took a, a woman out for a Dungeons & Dragons convention, and she had to spend six or seven hours dressed in this bizarro outfit with some strange made-up name, and it was just awful, and it was just horrible. And uh, one woman, uh, her mother went on a dating site, without her knowing it, and tried to fix up her daughter that way. So and then she went out with the guy and he asked all these weird sex questions. That, that, that's hot. So, he, I mean, I guess my question would be to mom, how do you get it so wrong? I mean, does it, your mom just not know you? Or is she just thinking, you know what, the guy has, like, you know, all of his limbs, you know, and, I don't know, half of his hair. He not looks okay. really, because the last <laughs> the guy before the married man had an eye patch. So <laughs> the Pirate sheet, yeah, that know, could be okay? I think that, I think what happens is my mother hears single, and then it stops there. Okay. You know, a member of the CSI unit, she's not. Okay. And I think in her moment for good intentions, you know, you're, you can drown in good intentions, but that's when she hears single, we're done. She doesn't do the follow-up questions, which is, are you, you know, are, are, you, are, you married? are you married? <laughs> well, you know, what does he do? What's he like? Is, is he from the city? Um, what is, you know, what does he do for a living? Uh, things like that you, you kind of want to know ahead of time. You know, in this day and Does age... Does he have all of his limbs? You know, or, you know, in this day and age when so many people are dating on the internet, isn't it kind of refreshing to have being, you know, set up? It seems almost a bit old-fashioned these days. It is old-fashioned, and, you know, the nicest way to do it is through someone that you know. But I think when someone that you know is your mother, it's not so great. And, again, we found that for most of these women, the mother was looking for what I think they liked not what is good for their daughter. Okay, so that's, that's really good. That's, so. That was it. And I also think, sometimes I use an analogy, my mother is great at, at picking out black pants for me. If she can call me from a store and say, you know, these are perfect, they're, they're uh, black linen, and you can wear them in the summer, and they're a good weight, and they're dressy, but she can't pick out jeans for me. And I think because there's so many different types of jeans, you know, there's a, the waist cut, the low cut, the ankle cut, the long cut, the bootleg. <laughs> For me, love is like a pair of jeans, and I'm the only one who can really, until I fit into them, and I have them on my body, I don't know if they're going to work. So that's sort of what love is like, at least for me. That makes sense. Okay, so... The, uh, so the book is Have I Got a Guy for You. So have you found a guy? Did your mom ever get a guy for you or say someone no, else? No. So we're still looking for the guy yeah, for you? Yeah, we're still looking for the guy. Uh, she's no longer, thank God, looking for the guy. She has stopped looking. <laughs> she looks, but now she brings me his phone number. Are any of these moms, any of these 26 moms, have they been, how, they, how have they reacted to the book? Surprisingly, they were all okay. Nobody, nobody cried. Nobody stopped speaking to anybody. Everybody was okay. Um, I think they were probably a little shocked. Some were a little mortified. And, and some of them, we heard, didn't know the whole story until the stories actually came out. So some of the daughters were not as forthcoming or sharing or as open with the experience until the book came out. And then they gave them the true story of what really happened. Well, thank you so much for sharing these stories. They're really, really hilarious. So we thank like you. salad dressing on the side. Uh, 
try to get set up with someone that's in fact single. That, so these are the takeaways, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. This was great. This was great. So the book is Have I Got a Guy for You? Uh, well, Alex is still looking, but you know what? Mom, keep trying. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll, uh, we'll be back with morning, noon, and night.